one of the newest features that was introduced in Canva recently was Canva Sheets. In this video, we are going to be covering all the things you need to understand when it comes to Canva Sheet. I think, you know, the basic things would create more videos to go deep into that. But let's just check it out and let's see what you can actually do in Canva Sheets. Let's dive straight into it. Okay, so first of all, you should see Canva freshly built. Okay, and this is what we have at the moment. So as part of it, Canva Sheet, like I mentioned earlier, was introduced and this is where we have it. So I'll just simply click on Canva Sheet. And I believe Canva Sheet is available for everybody. If you're on the free version, pro version, you know, whichever version you're on, you should have access to Canva Sheets. Okay. So we can see this is your Google spreadsheet, your Excel, whatever, whatever, now in Canva. So instead of you always having to switch between apps, you can just simply do things here inside of Canva. Okay. And I'm, you know, so excited about it because I used to use Google Sheets a lot, working with data and I'm planning events, Canva events, you know, working with a lot of sheets and all of that. But now having to do everything in Canva, I think I'm just so excited about that. And even having to collaborate with my team members in Canva, linking designs and everything, where I would get more videos on how you can do that. But we are just going to cover some basic things you can do, you know, with this inside of Canva. Okay, so. Let's go back. First things first, we have the rules, we have the columns. So this is the columns and the rules are, you know, the horizontal lines and all of that. Okay. You can simply enter any data. So let's say name or item. Okay. Let me just do item. Okay. So item. And once you press on your tab, it, you know, it moves to the next um, cell. Okay. So over here, we can just say maybe quantity. Okay. Quantity. First tab, it moves to the next one. You can see budget. Okay, here we go. We can see person in charge. Okay, so just make sure you can clearly see what I'm doing. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. Okay, so this is what we have at the moment. And just in case you want to edit, once you double click, you know, you can be able to edit whatever you have in your cell or, yeah, in the cell. But if you just click and start typing, whatever you have would replace. So if I just do one, two, three, you can see it has been replaced. All right. I will just go back. Then we can see fonts distributed. Okay. This is what we have at the moment. So you can see how easy it is to, you know, just add your data into your cells. Okay. Now you can also merge some of the cells. So once you select a number of cells, you right click, you would see merge cells. Okay. So you can merge it over here. You can see how beautiful. It's just, just to do that inside of Canva. Okay, but in this video, I just want us to just create something very simple in Canva sheet just to see what is possible. Okay, so I'm going to fill all of this quickly. Okay, so this is what we have at the moment. So what can we do? So the first things I would want to do is just to make the titles stand out. Okay, so once we select these cells, you can just come to background color and just change the color okay then we can just come to the text color and change the text color and you can see what we have over here very easy and very simple we are actually creating something beautiful something useful okay now what we can also do is with the person in charge whether it's mother father son or daughter instead of typing the names here we can actually create a drop down and that's one of the beautiful things in, you know, you can do in Canva. It has made it very easy. So once you click on, you know, maybe a particular cell, you can just come to actions. Okay. And over here, you can just search for drop down. Okay. So create drop down. You can see it has created it for us. Very simple. Once you click on the drop down, we can customize. Okay. So once you click on the first option, you can say father. Okay. In the second one, you can say mother, right? Then the third one, we can say Doro. Okay. Then we can add a new option and we can say son. Okay. So we can have everything like this, but if you want to customize all of these, we can add colors. So father can be any color at all. So I'll just come to color. And we choose any color at all. All right. And let's go back. We can see 
mother can be, you know, any color. We'll come here and just use blue for mother. We can go back. Daughter can be any color. Maybe let's use this, okay? And the sun. So we can also, you can also choose any color at all. So let me choose maybe something here like this, okay, for the sun. And this is what we have at the moment. So now you can just click and select father, mother. You can see very easy and very simple. And we want to just make sure that all of this, you know, is applied here. So what we can do is select the cell, make sure you are clicking, you know, just at the corner, there's a, a box over there. So once you click and drag, you can see it's been applied. Very easy and very simple. Okay. Now, with the funds distributed, I want to create another set of drop down, but I don't want to, you know, do it from scratch again. So I can just use this and bring it here just like that. And you can see. And I can just change this. Okay. So I can delete this and delete this. And I can just edit this and I can just say sorted and I can come here to see not sorted. Okay. Then over here, we can change the color. So sorted can be green. Okay. And not sorted can be red. Okay. So we can just use red for this. Then we can go back and yeah, that is it. So this pop-up is just asking us if we want to update all the other drop downs we have created because we copied it. But we can just see just this one. Okay. That's all we are looking for. So we can just do sorted and just apply to all the other ones. Okay. So this is actually very simple. You know, something simple we've actually created in here. Now, let's say we wanted to have the sum of the budget. Okay. This are just numbers, but we want to set it as quantities. So we can also just select all of them. Come into the number format and choose currency. So you can see what we have over here. Currency at the moment is set to um, pounds, but you know there are more options in here. You can choose what you want to choose. So if it's dollar, we we'll just go. We we'll just select all of this and choose the dollar. You can see everything is changed for us now. I want us to be able to have the sum of this. You know, we're just going to play out with. The um, we are just going to play out with some formulas, okay? So, you know, with Excel and Google Sheets, if you want to use formulas, you start with the equal sign, okay, and start typing the formula. Well, it's the same in Canva, you can just do the same. So, over here, we just type the equal to sign, and you can just use the sum, okay? So, click on it and just click and drag to choose the number of cells it should focus on and close it with the brackets, okay? And that's all. You can see the sum over here. And I can just say total and select all of this. Just change the background color. And you can see what we have at the moment. This is actually very easy and very simple. But now I want us to take a look at some of the things over here. So the actions, it helps you to choose things quickly. You can link Canva designs and other files you have in Canva straight into Canvas sheet will make a detailed video on all of that. Okay, so don't worry. You can choose the formulas, you can choose date. If I choose date for an example, you can just pick a date and you can see very easy and very simple. You can leave comments, you can, you know, you can even just create a chart out of this. So, magic chart, and we can see chart we have at the moment. So I can just say bar chart, view or chart, and um, we can just hit this chart over here. So you can see, we simply created a chart out of what we have over here. The data we have, very easy and very simple, okay? You can sort, you can, you know, the number format, you know, the decimal, you can also tweak all of that over here. You can change colors, so we can also customize the border. So if we choose all of this and we come here, we can actually make the border interesting and we'll just make it black, okay? So you can see how it's looking right now. I think it's looking very clean. Then we have the normal formatting options, the color, you know, the bold, italic, and the line strike out, the alignment, you have all of that, the overflow. We'll look at all of this in a detailed video, but for now, these are some of the things you can even do. And, you know, Canva also has a number of templates they've built here. So once you just click, 
you can apply. Okay, or we can just add it as a new page. You can see what we have over here. Very easy and very simple. So you can see there's so many things you can actually do with Canvas Sheets. So you can see there's so many things you can actually do with Canvas Sheets, even just by doing this alone. You can see if it is something that is even useful. And to add a template, you can just go through. There are so many templates Canva already has that you can even just use as a starter. Okay, so I hope you found this helpful. Make sure to stay tuned to my details video. What do you think about Canvas Sheet? Do you like it? Do you think it's useful? I just want to hear from you in the comment section below. My name is Benjamin. Always remember there is no limit to creativity. And I'm your Canva guy. I'll see you in my next video. Peace.